Hey guys, this is Kimberly and welcome back to my channel, Mental Makeover. Uh, this is a channel where um, that is geared toward women over 40 who want to learn how to do um, makeup looks that enhance their natural beauty. Um, I Today I'm doing a look, I'm about to take pictures with my family, so it's kind of a get ready with me, uh, but not really. <laughs> uh, for part of the video, I am going to be doing a voiceover, but then for um, other portions, I am going to be, it is going to be a talk through. Uh, and I am going to be using the LA Girl Nudist palette. Uh, so if you are interested in getting this look that I have here, then please keep on watching. So guys, I've done my brows off camera. And now I'm going to clean them up and base my eyes using the e.l.f. 16 Hour Camel Concealer in Deep Chestnut. Guys, the reason I decided to do a voiceover right here is because um, I was kind of in a hurry and this part always takes so long. So I just decided to speed it up and talk over it. The brush that I'm using right here is a Sigma angled eyebrow brush. And now that I've put that on, I'm going to blend it out using the e.l.f. concealer sponge. Now I'm going to be taking the LA Girl Nudist Palette to begin my eye look. And this is just a palette full of um, neutral colors. I'm going to be taking <clears throat> this orangey brown shade and putting that um, in the crease as my transition shade. Now I'm taking a smaller detail eye brush and applying this cool brown uh, shade directly into my crease and the outer V. This brush was a little um, fluffy, a little more fluffy than I should have used. I should have used a denser brush to get more um, color payoff, but it actually ended up working out in the end. And now I'm just going to begin to go back and forth between the brush that I used for my transition color and the smaller detail brush in the, with the darker color just to get the, um, the shape and the amount of um, color that I want in that outer V and my crease. Now I'm going to take a flat shader brush and apply this really light champagne shade to my lid. I'm going to be applying this color all over my lid um, 
well except the outer V where I put the darker brown shade and I'm just going to blend this color into the brown shade once I'm done applying this color to my eye I'm going to go off camera and complete my other eye and put brown eyeliner on all right guys now that I've done my eyes I am going to go ahead and do my face and so I'm going to be using the elf poreless putty primer um, my usual combination the elf poreless putty primer on um, the majority of my face and then the um, benefit professional primer on the places where I have large pores I'm not using all that. Just a little to fill in those pores. I'm just gonna spray this all all around. Gonna blend it all the way in. Once I've gotten that in, I'm going to go ahead and with my um, with my foundation uh, using my current um, <laughs> favorite right now, which is the Elf Flawless Finish Foundation, and I'm using it in spice and in nutmeg. And I'm going to put about one pump of each. On my um, spat, on my not spatula, on my palette, <laughs> and I think I'm going to use about a half a pump, half a pump more of the nutmeg. I'm going to go ahead and mix those in with my finger, and then just place this on my face. And I'll be using a damp sponge to blend that in. Just making sure that it's even. And now I'm gonna go in with my um, e.l.f. 16 hour uh, camo concealer. And, um, and this one is in Deep Cinnamon. Okay, now I'm gonna take my um, my other e.l.f. sponge that I used for my foundation. I'm just gonna blend around the edges of that concealer to make sure that there are no harsh lines. All right, so now that that's done, I'm gonna take my setting brush and my Airspun uh, translucent setting powder 
the original color. And I'm going to set those areas where I put um, the concealer. Just gonna put some in the top here. And I'm gonna begin to set that. So guys, now I'm going to take just a little bit more power, powder in the area where my smile lines are. And that's just to keep my foundation from settling in my smile lines, um, as well as the areas on the sides of my nose. I'm gonna take some of that powder and take it right under here, under my jawline. And that's just a way um, to do what they call reverse contouring. Um, I'm not necessarily gonna contour right there, but I am gonna, I am putting that powder there just to um, give me more pronounced um, contour, a more pronounced um, face shape there. So now I'm gonna take my um, L'Oreal Hydra Perfect, um, Hydra Perfect <laughs> setting powder to set the rest of my face. And again, I'm just gonna pour a little bit in the top. I'm gonna take my Moda, this fluffy brush here. and set those other areas of my face. I'm also going to um, wipe that setting powder off right there and then other places where I put the extra setting powder that I had before. Now this powder is um, translucent, even though it, it says it's in medium, it's really a translucent um, powder, so it's not really adding, adding any color to my face. Okay, so as you see, I've already um, put the, the Airspun translucent powder down the center of my nose to bake that area, just to, um, just to contour my nose or bring my nose shape back. I'm gonna take my angled, um, my angled brush here from Sigma and my sleek face palette, the contour powder that's in there and I'm gonna use that to, uh, to contour my nose. Now I know for the most part, people say that contouring is out, but I like the way it looks, so that's why I'm doing it. So not only did I take it down the sides of my nose, um, the sides of that part that I baked, but I'm also taking it in my cupid's bow and right under the center of my bottom lip. All right, I'm gonna take this um, fluffy brush from e.l.f. It's called the Flawless Face Brush. And I'm gonna take my uh, CoverGirl Queen bronzer in ebony bronze. 
Again, like I always say, they don't make this anymore. And I'm just gonna bronze my cheeks. I'm starting in the back and just going forward. And I'm just taking it right under that area that where I put that concealer on the sides, right under here um, between my jawline and the top of my cheek. I'm also going to take just a little bit of it up in my temples, around my hairline just a bit. Now I'm going to take this fluffy, um, this really light, um, fluffy brush from Moda and I'm going to use this brush um, to apply my highlighter and I'll be using the Laura Geller, um, what is this called? Gilded Honey, the Laura Geller Baked Gelato in Gilded Honey right here. is a nice um uh nice highlight it's not shimmery it's not um it's not real uh glittery it doesn't have any glitter in it or anything like that it's just a, a nice subtle highlight i almost feel like you could probably use as much of it as you want as you would want to and it still wouldn't be overpowering. I'm gonna put a little bit of it right in my Cupid's bow. Like I know, like I said, I know it's a lot of people who are not doing that anymore, but I like I like the way that, the way it looks, and so that's why I'm doing it. I'm also gonna take um, my uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna take this pencil brush. I'm gonna wipe that dark color off of it, and I'm gonna use it to place some of that, you know what, I'm not. I'm gonna use this Moda um, brush and I'm gonna use it, excuse me, to place some of this um, highlight in the inner corner of my eye. I don't know whether it's gonna show up, but we're gonna see. Just for a subtle highlight right there. Look at it. Right there. All right. For my blush today, I will be using that same um, same e.l.f. brush. I'm going to wipe it off on my paper towel just a bit just to get that bronzer off. And I'm going to be using uh, the Milani Baked Blush, the new Milani Baked Blush in uh, Coco Felic Fel Felicita. And this color could almost be a, a bronzer. It's a little red, but it still could almost be a bronzer. I'm just gonna wipe that onto the apples of my cheeks and a little bit further up. And that's um, this this blush. If you can see, it does have a slight um, sheen to it. It's not shimmery. It doesn't have glitter, but it does have a slight sheen to it. Um, so you could, um, for all intents and purposes, use this and not use a highlighter at all because this does have uh, have a bit of sheen in it. All right. So now I'm going to go ahead and apply my lashes. I do have some um, Red Cherry Christina lashes. This is the wispy, um, the wispy style. I did have to cut these on the end a little bit. They were a little long. Uh, so I'm going to go off camera and apply these using my duo glue, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so I got my lashes on. And um, now I'm just going to wipe this. I'm going to take my fluffy brush, uh, the fluffy brush 
powder brush that I used to set my face. And I'm going to wipe the powder off of my nose. I'm going to take that same brush that I used with the Gilded Honey Highlighter and just put a little bit on the um, end of my nose just to highlight that area just a bit. All right, and incidentally, after I put my lashes on, I did take a little bit of my eyeliner to kind of hide the band. Um, I felt like the band was was kind of showing a little bit, and so I um, I did put some um, put some of my eyeliner there, some more of my eyeliner there, just to hide that band a little bit. And now I'm going to um, before I put my mascara on, I'm just going to put on a little bit of lip balm. This is the Milani um fruit fetish lip balm just a bit my lips are a little bit dry i'm gonna wipe it off before i put my um lipstick on now i'm gonna take my Too faced better than sex mascara and i'm going to put a little bit on my top lashes just to push them into the falsies And then I'm going to put some mascara on my bottom lashes. All right. For my lips, I'm going to be using a um, combination of things. I'm going to be using lip the um, ColourPop BFF4 Lip Liner, as well as the um, Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink liquid lipstick in, um, I think it's Hushed Hazelnut. And I'll be using the Juvia's Place, I just got this, the Juvia's Place uh, Lip Reflect Gloss in Sis. I'm going to take the lipstick and just place that right inside that lip line that I drew in. And with this lip, liquid lipstick, I try not to go in, um, I try to only go in with one coat because once you start trying to layer, it um it starts to flake up. So you have to be careful with this one. I'm just, just going to pat to blend that in some. And I'm just going to use just a, just a bit of the um, of the lip gloss. It's right in the middle. And that is it for that, guys. I'm going to go and um, do my hair. I'm going to get dressed, and I'll be back for the final look. So I'm back guys, here is the final look. I've combed my hair down and um, I have put my jeans on. I was gonna put my, sh my sweater on, but it's not dry, so I have to wait to put my sweater on. I do have on a shirt, um, but just not the sweater that I'm gonna take pictures in. Uh, I do like this look, nice neutral um, look. The matte eyelid is classic. Um, and I was gonna do a red lip, but I, I just changed my mind. Um, I may still do um, some pictures with the red lip and, and post them, um, put them at the end of the video. Uh, but I do appreciate you guys uh, watching my video. Thank you for your support. Please make sure you give me a thumbs up to like the video. If you have any comments on this video, please leave them down below. If you have any suggestions, leave them down below. Uh, again, I just thank you for uh, watching my video and um, please subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Please have a great holiday. And, um, and again, thank you for watching and Happy New Year.